It has been two weeks since eight people, including three young children, died at Allen Premium Outlets. The outlets have remained closed, but business owners were told they can start accepting deliveries again tomorrow. Sydney Persing is in our newsroom tonight with an update on where things stand. Sydney? Well, Teresa, it has been 12 days now since DPS released any information about this shooting. Our team at WFAA keeps pushing for answers, and I'll get to what we've uncovered here in a moment. But first, let's start with what changes in just a few hours. Up until now, as you mentioned, only store owners and employees have had access to the outlet mall. But starting tomorrow, stores will be allowed to accept deliveries again. Possibly a sign management is slowly gearing up to reopen. We do know, though, the outlets will remain closed through Saturday, the 27th at least. Now back to the investigation. Again, DPS is still saying nothing, but we recently got our hands on new documents from the Allen Police Department. Those reports confirm the gunman had an AR-15. Police also found two ammunition magazines and 42 live rounds. Investigators still will not reveal the shooter's motive or where he purchased his guns or anything else. Earlier this week, Medical City said it is still treating five surviving victims from the shooting. All five patients, the hospital system said, are in good condition. We will continue to bring you all breaking developments on this story on air and online.